we're going to do here is attempt to build a wood duck box. Um, materials you're going to need is one 12 foot long board, 12 inches wide, 1 inches thick. It makes one box. A uh, set of hinges. I got one old door hinge here. You don't have to buy brand new ones. Um, a quarter inch wood bit. A piece of screen for the inside. And some screws. Maybe a screw gun. You know, basic stuff. Um, first thing, obviously, you want to cut your lumber. To save on time, I have already cut everything. I'm going to just go through and read a list of links, basically. This is all cut from the same board. The back is 32 inches long. The sides are 24 inches long, and so is the front. The floor is going to be 9 and 3 quarters inches long. And then the roof is 16 inches long. Then there's a little bit of waste left over. This is what it's going to look like after everything's cut out. You got your roof over there with the tape measure and bit and hinge on it and whatnot. And then the floor beside that, the two sides and the front, and then the back here at my feet. Um, as we go along here, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time of filming me actually putting it together, but in little steps, I will show you what we do. Is put the hole in the front side to let the wood ducks get in there. We have assembled basically our floor, two sides, and the back. We're going to lay this on here. If you don't have to, I just do to cut it out. You going to measure for me? Yeah. 19. You find one nine. Right there. We're going to take this. I'm just going to slide that in there. The center of the hole goes at 19. This is where you're going to drill the hole. Right? Yep. We're drilling the hole. Like it. No, right here. Okay. All right, you can lift that up. Grab, grab my pencil, please. Oh, grab my pencil, please. Now we're just going to trace this. Where are we going to cut the hole at? Alright, the hole, which I didn't explain, was four inches across by three inches up and down. Um, I don't know where they come up with that. That's just the specified hole size that come with the plan. Um, I made a pattern because I make a lot of these boxes and it's a lot easier just for me to go ahead and put the pattern on there, trace around it. I'll take that quarter inch drill bit and drill a hole here, a hole here, a hole there, a hole there, just so I can help to turn my jigsaw. But basically that's that's the specified hole size and where to place it on your box. While we got our quarter inch bit in, what we're going to do is go ahead and put a couple drain holes in the bottom. Just four or five. And that's pretty much all you need your quarter inch bit. Next 
next thing we're going to do is put the wire inside the box just so that way you don't have to do it from after you put it all together. <clears throat> I just flip it over. Can I hand me the wire? Thanks there, helper. And you're going to put some of it out the hole. Just enough to go down the front side a little way. And run a couple staples in here. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic. You want the, the babies to be able to uh, put their toenails up in that and climb on up and out the box. Dad? Hold on, buddy. Um, can ducks walk upside down? And there you go, there's your wire. And when you go to fasten it, it should look like this. So we'll just screw that down and there you go. I have opted to buy self-tappers. Uh, the reason, let me explain that, is because I don't want to have to go around and pre-drill all these holes. So the self-tappers have seemed to work rather well for me over the few years putting these together. So that's what I go with. They're 1 and 5 8 inch self-tapping drywall screws. Fine thread. All right. Let's Next thing we're going to do is attach the roof, take your uh, hinge, lay it up against the door in the back part of the roof, have your helper hold the roof for you, and what we'll do is we'll just tack one here. to that you lift it up you want to put your sawdust inside and then I put a screw up top that just to keep coons and everything else out of it and then when you come back later the next year or even after the babies have hatched to clean it out then you just lift it up clean it out Go ahead and put her in there get a bunch of it you want to make sure you fill that box up at least to a couple inches of that on top of that wire that way the babies are going to be able to reach it get a whole bunch of her make sure you get it in there Get you another one, another big one. Oh yeah, 
guys. Alright, that should be enough. And this is what it's going to look like. She's going to make a next out of that. Yeah. Nest. Alright, now you pre roll are finished with the product. You can hang them like this, but it adds a little more appeal if you paint them dark like the tree and it'll also last longer because this is just untreated pine it'll rot out from the weather and whatnot really quickly if you don't do something to it so what we do is we have these little guys come in and paint them you like painting wood duck boxes no so it's something you can involve your family in and it's a nice little rainy day project obviously we had a little break in the rain today so we were able to complete this one pretty quickly but either way it's a great outdoor project for the family